What's up, YouTube? Brandon back with another video presentation. And um, I'm going to talk about this in this video, something real valuable. I'm going to talk about um, when you know the odds are against you. You know, as far as dating and relationships, you notice how you hear um, dating specialists tell you you know, far as uh, women is concerned and dating, they'll tell you, you know, if you get rejected, you just keep trying. But why why does a person have to keep trying? You know what I'm saying? Keep going around in circles. You know, you, you, you ask a female out, you know, she deny you. You ask another young lady out, she deny you. You know, it's kind of like, you know... You're going around in circles. You're going through the same motions over and over again. And it comes to a point to where it's like, why even try? You know, why even why even try, you know? Because it's like every time you ask a young lady out, you know, she'll say no. Or most of the times you give a young lady a number, she won't call. And, you know, that can really put you in a jam. And it comes to a point to where it's like, why even try to pursue women when you know the odds are against you? If you know, you know, when you approach a woman, you know, more than likely, you know, the, the, you know, the situation is not going to work out for your benefit. And more than likely, you know, she's going to end up rejecting you and feeling some kind of way about you. If it's like if you know the odds are against you, why even try, you know? And one thing about me, I do my best not to stress over women, even though it's hard and it's a battle that I have to fight every day. I try not to stress over the whole relationship scene because stress and worryation will kill you. It will most certainly kill you and it will it will, it will drive you to suicide. You know, I feel like why try to ask a woman out when you know the odds are against you? If you know that it's a big chance that if you ask a young lady out, more than likely, you know, she's going to say no because the last female said no. I mean, it's like. And, you know, it's like a basketball team. If your favorite team has lost 30 games, would you have confidence in that team? Whichever basketball team that you're a fan of. If your team lost 30 games, would you be confident in that team? No, you would not because that because they have a history of losing. How can you be confident in the dating scene when you have a history of failure? You know, when most of the times, you know, you failed far as your love life, you failed far as the whole dating scene. How could you have confidence in yourself when most of the times you failed? You know, that, 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 that's my whole outlook on it. And, you know, you got certain people who will tell you that, you know, you're negative and that, you know, that's a bad mind frame to have. But it's like insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Why would you ask a woman out knowing damn well she's going to turn you down? Because most of the times when you ask women out, what happens? They, 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 they turn you down. So what would make you so confident? Knowing that this female won't do the same thing. If you asked 100 women out on a date, right? And let's say 50 of those women told you no. Would you still have the confidence to ask another female out when you've been told no by 50 women? That's why I don't waste my time asking many women out. Because I already know most of the times they're going to say no. You know, you give your number to a female. Most of the times, you know, they're not going to uh, they're not going to uh, call you. I gave my number to one girl one time, but she was in high school. Even though she texted my phone, she was still in high school. And even though she was legal by law, I just felt that, you know, I'm 27. I don't want to mess with no girl in high school. You know, I'm getting close to 30. So it's like. But, you know, it's like, why even try when you know the odds are against you? It's like, it's like walking through the Amazon jungle. If you walk through the Amazon jungle with a bunch of dangerous animals, more than likely you're going to get attacked by those animals. 
So why even, you know, it's like, why even, why even walk through the Amazon jungle? You know, why even walk through the Amazon jungle? If you know more than likely you're going to be attacked. I mean, it, it, it makes absolutely no sense. And, and, and this is a big reason to why I don't waste my time asking many women out, because most of the times when you ask women out, you're going to get the same result. And it's like, why keep doing the same thing over and over, getting the same result? I mean, you might as well give up and not even put in, put forth any effort because my father always told me insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different outcome. You know, just like when I when I gave when I tried to this is how, you know, the game is fucked up. I tried to give one young lady my number that I had a conversation with. And she told she told me that, you know, she was a Jehovah Witness. That's why she couldn't take my number. And she was nice to me the whole time. This was my second time running into this girl. And I said, I really enjoy talking to you. Here's my number. Give me a call. Maybe we can do lunch. Man, she told me I can't take your number because I'm a Jehovah Witness. That's why I don't waste my time pursuing many women because I know more than likely they're going to turn me down and they're not going to be feeling me. And confidence works when women already like you. Just because you believe in yourself doesn't mean you're going to achieve. That's why I don't waste my time pursuing many women, because I already know if I ask a young lady out, most of the times they're going to turn me down, especially if it's a black woman, because black women have always shitted on me. They've always shitted on me, you know, so, you know, it, 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 you got to it comes a point in time where you have to use common sense. And it's like, why keep doing the same thing, getting the same result? If you ask a sister out or if you give her your number and she don't call or if she turn you down and make up some excuse to blow you off, why even waste your time trying? And I've had certain people tell me that that's a negative mind frame, but really, really, that's a that's a that's that's a that's a common sense mind frame. That's not a negative mind frame. That's a common sense mind frame, because why would you do something knowing more than likely you're going to fail? Why would you play a game that's rigged against you? Why would you play a game that you're going to fail at? It's like, why step on the football field if you know you're going to lose? Why step in the boxing ring when you know you're going to get knocked out? You're going up against a professional fighter and you know that your skills are not where his are. So why jump in the fucking ring? The same thing that applies to women. Why even persevere when you know you're going to fall flat on your ass? Why even try when you know more than likely I'm a fail? You might as well not even ask a woman out. And that's why most of the times I don't ask women out because I know more than likely they're going to reject me. So why even try? You might as well not even try. And I hate other men telling me that's a negative mind frame. That's a common sense mind frame. Why would you keep touching the stove when every time you touch the stove, it burns your ass? You'll be a damn fool to keep touching the stove, right? Sometimes in life, you just have to accept that maybe you are a failure and you have to know when to throw in the towel. That's why I say, why try when you know the odds are against you? Why even bother asking a woman out when you know more than likely she's going to turn you down and, you know, she's not going to be feeling you. You might as well not even try. You might as well say, fuck it and move on. But, you know, I felt that I needed to make this video because this is some real knowledge that I felt, you know, people needed to hear. And this this is this is coming from a realistic standpoint. Why would you ask a woman out knowing more than likely she's going to turn you down just like the last female did? Because it's in, it's insanity to keep trying and getting the same result. Why would you keep trying and getting the same result? It makes no sense. It makes no sense to continue to try and get the same result. Just like I said, and this is the best analogy I can relate to the dating scene.
if your favorite basketball team has lost 30 games, would you still be confident in them winning the game? But on that note, I'm going to sign out.